Hello and welcome again. This is my first time visiting parts of an abandoned fluorite mine. Mining started as early as the 16th century, mainly for lead ores. Later the interest shifted towards calcium fluoride, which was used as a fluxing agent for copper and iron smelting. Mining activities stopped for good in 1959. The yield was around 4.5 thousand tons of fluoride mostly tinted dark blue or violet, extracted from veins reaching up to one meter in diameter and often associated with anchorite. As you can probably imagine, the entrance is nothing for people with claustrophobia. Standing upright is also impossible and I'm not very tall. Here is a vein of barite, which is also a common occurrence here. The first sign of fluoride on the ground. The color is stunning, varying from light to dark blue. Up on the wall you can see barite and some small spots of fluoride. Back here is a large cavity, not really sure if there's an open edit below me. While I'm certainly able to get down there, I'm not really sure I can get up again, at least not safely. A larger fluoride vein was probably exposed by mineral collectors. They excavated quite some material. Let's have a closer look at the exposed vein.
Here is yet another one. Time to collect some specimens. Or is it specimina? Who cares? Found this larger chunk here. Rock pick for scale. There is definitely some fluoride inside. Hammer time. I'm glad this rock is not too tough. Okay, let's continue on the outside. Remember, the pick end is for prying only. So, this was most definitely not my last trip to this location. I really want to remove a part of the vein. Not with heavy equipment, of course. Spoiler alert, the video is already filmed, but we should not get ahead of ourselves. Let's end this video with some high-res images. Thank you very much for watching and see ya.